All right, American consumers are getting more optimistic on the U.S. economy. Consumer confidence shot up in June, posting its biggest increase since 2011. With us now is Bart Van Ark, Chief Economist at the Conference Board. Bart, good to see you this morning. So this data hit the tape, and I think it surprised uh, a lot of people on the street. How do you explain uh, the ongoing strength in the U.S. consumer, given everything going on in the world right now? Hi, Brian. Good to see you. Yeah, it, it was a nice uptick, frankly. We, we did see the index uh, pick up from uh, 86 to 98. Uh, a lot of that is a consumer's assessment of the current conditions. I mean, in June, things just look better than in May. Uh, people feel that, you know, business conditions are not as bad. People feel that, you know, there's more, there were more jobs available in June than in May. So I think on, on the present situation, we saw the biggest uptick. We saw also some improvement on the outlook uh, consumers thinking that, you know, uh, business conditions are not as bad in the future, fewer jobs. But when you hear me, it's all like they are less pessimistic. They are not necessarily dramatically more optimistic. So I think that's the most important underlying message here. Good morning, Bart. It's Heidi Chung here. So um, to your point, then, um, we're still well below those pre-pandemic levels that we saw in February. Um, the test, I guess, for consumer confidence going forward will be when those stimulus checks run out. Um, so I'm curious to get your thoughts on how long you think that recovery will take place and when we will get back to those February levels. Yeah, I mean, just to, to, to fully understand, pre-pandemic in January, the overall index was staying at 130, and now it's still below 100. So, so we, had, we made some way back, but there's still a very, very long way to go. And as I said, I mean, you know, consumers are less pessimistic. They just think that, you know, we, it may be slightly better, getting, uh, slightly, getting slightly better on jobs and on business conditions. But when we ask the question about income uh, and what people think about the income level, we see no improvements at all. So consumers are not optimistic that their income will actually improve. And I think that is somewhat related to your point on the government checks and everything else. And that also kind of leads into, you know, very cautious outlook for the second half of the year, because, you know, once we have this sort of immediate recovery behind us, people are going to look into their wallet and say, well, actually, we don't have all that much to spend. So the second half of the year is not going to look pretty in our view. Bart, Ines Ferre here. Do you think that that outlook would change if the stimulus were to be announced prior to the expiration, for example, at the end of July of the benefits that are coming? Do you think that the timing of when the stimulus is announced has anything to do with how consumers feel going forward? Well, it's certainly true that in the first round of the stimulus, the checks came through fairly quickly. So that was good news. So consumers actually noticed that the checks were paid out uh, pretty soon. So if a new announcement of that would happen, consumers would probably expect that to happen again, that these checks would happen, uh, would end up in their pocket rather soon. And that could, could, could give us some what of an upside uh, in, the, uh, in the fall. But let's not forget, one thing is to get a check. The other one is, you know, whether consumers think it is safe to go out there to consume, whether they think they're, they can hold on to their jobs uh, going forward and so on. So I think the, the checks will help a little bit to keep things going, but the longer term outlook, I think, is still pretty dire. Uh, Bart, is this is this peak? With the reading that we saw today is this peak consumer confidence for 2020. I look in the back half of the year. I see a presidential election. I see more states potentially uh, closing down again. Uh, potentially uh, job prospects weakening yet again. Uh, how much good? How can it get any better than this? Yeah, I think it's a little bit early to say that we peaked this. Uh, I, I think this can still go up uh, quite a bit. Let, let's not forget the present situation was as bad as 68 points uh, just last month. That's now 86. That is likely to continue to improve uh, somewhat. I think it's the expectations component that we need to watch very carefully. And as you say, there are quite a, a you know fair amount of uncertainties, including elections, but also how is this virus evolving? How do state governments respond to this? Do feel people feel comfortable that this situation under control or not. I think that's going to be very important. The other thing I was going to say is I, in your earlier discussion, we we're talking about inflation. We also ask consumers about inflation expectations. You know, consumers always think that inflation is going to be higher than it really is. But the point is that they still do think that inflation will go up. So they go out to the supermarkets. They still see that prices of some goods and services are going up. That's some things they can get. If they go on the internet, it's more expensive. And again, that's another factor that will make consumers pretty cautious going forward. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.